Jari bu, jari bu. Eh, gua aku nak kira nak tahu. Tahu bro. So this morning I came to check out the nomadic life of um, this some um, Kenyans from the Wajia Galerisa County. They are currently residing here in Taveta County, um, mostly due to like take care of their camels, their herders. So I came here to see how they live. I'm also going to show you the house. They live like a very simple life compared to like what you. He's saying hi. Compared to what you're usually used to seeing, like how Nairobi li living is. So over here, it's like a totally different sort of feel. Right now, it's about 9.30. They are currently milking the camels. I've never seen a camel getting milked. I've only seen like um, cows, goats getting milk, and um, I can say it's really easy to milk a camel. This is my host, Salimiana. Napiga camera. Napiga camera. Then I know Hassan. Ibrahim. 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 So, yeah, ah, yeah, so, 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 so let me show you how the, how the typical nomad in Kenya lives like. Um, I'm gonna take you around. So when we got here, one of the guys, his name is Inde, he was sleeping over here on this mat. Very comfortable, as much as it had rained last night, but he was okay. And on other nights, he sleeps on this um on his bed he just lays like the sisal mat on it then sleeps comfortably and um one other guy i don't remember his name lives in here you can also have a look this is just like fully thin wrapped all around this backpack i don't know if you can see clearly there's a backpack it's very simple bag with clothes shoes over here just like an open mat. Then the other guy, Hassan, lives here. Let's go check a peek. So this is his house. Okay, come on, show very well. But um, there's a mat for there. There's a partition over here. Of course, putting his things away. A typical nomad lifestyle and um, when I find the camera to this other side this is where you get to see all the camels they're over there they have a total of 60 camels those are like the adult camels not the babies they, they have about 10 12 babies so right now they're being milked I'm gonna show you how they're doing it Now this one is going to find its mom. It wants to breastfeed before it gets kicked out. Nam fata too. You know, kanga interesting. Any video? Hey, don't hit my camera, man. It already found its mom. <laughs> so they found its mom, so it's gonna suckle for like a couple of seconds before it gets kicked out by Indy. 
<laughs> you already know that is they're bringing me milk, a glass of milk, camel milk. Asante. Straight from the sauce. Nice and warm. Really yummy. So you must your extra to peleka api. Na jo ingine uchauza, ingine uchakunywa. Ah, is okay. Kwa customer. Kwa customer. Ah, kwa hivyo ni 40 liter tayari. Baki anga. Eh? What's wrong? So he just put in some ugali milk. I don't know if have his best breakfast. Unaoga pa kula? Kula. Kula kula mende. Yeah. So the camel milk is sold for 100 shillings per liter, one dollar. And um, when you when they're slaughtered, the meat costs between 500 to 600 shillings. That's between five to six dollars a kilo. So that's pretty interesting. They usually they, they take into the slaughterhouse um, once or twice a week over here. Um, they were supposed to be slaughtered today. Unfortunately, that has been changed. I don't know why. I wanted to go. This apparently this camel likes jumping over the shrub boundary and going into people's farms to eat from it. That's why the feet. That's why it has the rope tied around its legs. They're calling it a thief. He's not happy. I'm giving away his secrets. It was pretty interesting to spend the day with the hard, coming up camel herders, but I have to confess I didn't go out the whole day with them. Because they leave at around 10 in the morning, come back at 10 at night, and that, that wouldn't have been possible for me. 